<laughs> you know, uh, uh, they have uh, what's known as the Bar Association. Yeah. Uh, an organization, members of the legal profession, several state bars sponsor the superb uh, CLE programs. Yeah. And uh, the state bar associations. Yeah. Could you just give me the yield on the tax deferred accounts of those that are members of the bar associations that say, well, it's not criminal issuing court orders where there's no signature of the petitioner. Yes. Where the minor's name don't have any protections of the law and they've been exploited for seven and a half years. Yes. Where I have been labeled as being delusional. Yes. And uh, no one is actually... Uh, defending the oppressed uh, minors name that are two grades behind where they should be now i just wanted to know the yield of your individual tax deferred accounts of every attorney belonging to each and every state bar association yeah seems to me that you're all concerned about uh, the increase of your retirement accounts yes now they have what's known as a bank. It's a financial establishment for the deposit, loan, exchange, or issue of money, or for the transmission of funds. <laughs> have you ever have you ever heard of that as an attorney? Mm -hmm. See, I put in this email those mandatory reporters that were required by law to inform law enforcement of child abuse, child exploitation, and child abduction. And instead of allowing me to receive a phone call, um, the state and all 50 states decide to be assholes. <laughs> now, I'm just going to want to know what your what your tax deferred account yields, because <laughs> every one of these attorneys that's employed in law firms that say, well, as a member of the State Bar Association, we have no liability for the knowledge of fraud, misrepresentation, and kidnapping. <laughs> Now, there's state banks. Yeah. A bank chartered by a state and supervised by the state banking department. Uh-huh. State bank must have FDIC insurance on deposits, but need not become a member of the Federal Reserve System to attain the insurance. Yes. Why don't you get me those state banks? Oh, and the state banking departments. Now, as I don't know, I thought there was just one state that had state banks, but if you don't have to belong to the Federal Reserve and it's regulated by the state banking department, yeah, is there a need for the Federal Reserve? I mean, do we really need a Federal Reserve chairman? Shouldn't we just let interest rates decide themselves and markets go up, interest rates go down, markets go down, interest rates go up? Yeah. I think it'd be so much easier if we automated the actual economy of the United States of America. <laughs> we could do some of this black box trading. One day interest rates are two and a half percent. The next day they're at seven. <laughs> it wouldn't really affect the market overall, would it? I mean, considering your beige book. <laughs> now I know what's it yielding. <laughs> what's it paying? <laughs> now this state bank, uh-huh. I'd like to know all of them that are chartered by each and every state that are supervised by the state banking departments. Yes. And a state bank must have FDIC insurance. Maybe maybe Alan remembers when he increased it from 100000 to 250000 <laughs> Do you remember what the circumstances are for that increase of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation? They kind of... Well, they called it a credit crisis, but it really wasn't, was it? Pooh. It was one of those that was kind of a managed crisis, like, well, it seems bad at the time. But <laughs> considering the market's more than doubled in the last three, four years, everybody's all worried. <laughs> now, when it's the FDIC that's insuring the bank deposits and states don't have to participate. <laughs>